is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 honda crv courtesy of apple honda in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so wanted to check this one out today because zero percent financing and like the first time in forever for the honda crv which is a wonderful thing above average reliability according to consumer reports which also is a wonderful thing production actually originally began back in 1995 producing the 1997 model year believe it or not but still this thing has been around for quite some time now essentially is a legend not the accurate that you're thinking of but still a legend status because it has been around that long and so in this video I will be testing out and going over everything about this CRV from acceleration to braking ride quality interior exterior all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there of course will be several different trim levels for the 2021 CRV first one being the LX starting at $25,350 EX for $27,860, EXL for $30,450, and then the Touring, which is the one we have today, starting at $33,650. And so that was all pricing for the front-wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to add all-wheel drive to any of those trims, simply add $1,500 to any of those prices. And so regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plan on the CRV is going to be the same. Powering this beast is a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine putting out 190 horsepower at 5600 rpm 179 pound-feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a cvt zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 7.5 seconds top speed if you're interested 103 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 28 in the city 34 highway for the front wheel drive 27 in the city 32 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive either way taking regular unleaded fuel but so that before we do any kind of acceleration test or anything like that i did want to mention there is an econ button or a econ drive mode i guess so to speak and this is a drive mode back when i had my civics i use all the time in my absolutely crazy commute to the inner harbor every single day essentially what that drive mode does is adjust things like the throttle response the shift points and actually the climate control settings as well so when you hit that it is going to dial back the climate control slightly but that is to give you better mpgs and it actually does make a substantial difference with your mpgs when you put it in that econ driving mode so i did want to mention that the little green light is going to pop up on your digital gauges there, letting you know you're in that driving mode and by the way also there is a little led lighting on the very top of those gauges is going to change in color dependent upon how you're driving and any given time as well so i've always liked the honda's kind of done that with really all of their vehicles but having said that now what do you guys say i am actually going to find a straightaway off the main road here and we're going to do a quick little acceleration here on our straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2021 honda crv here up to speed all right in three two one and the engine shut off perfect time. <laughs> there we go okay definitely not too shabby that was a very good acceleration for what this suv is and uh yeah you're definitely not going to have any issues with merging onto the highway and really zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds is a plenty good number for this suv so absolutely no issues when it comes to the acceleration here in the honda crv but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 11.1 inch ventilated front discs in the back 10.2 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes it comes in at 129 feet and i will say it's not the best out there some suvs do come into the 130s but i typically do like to see suvs coming in the lower 120s if not the one teens like the honda hrv for example that has excellent braking believe it or not so anyways a little bit on the high side but braking feel is plenty fine for this one it is a little bit softer than some of the other competition but it's not bad but touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension of course front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes that is plenty fine really the crv has never had any issues with ride quality it's always been perfectly fine another thing i really love is cabin noise or the lack thereof honda does cabin noise 
very well compared to a lot of the competition. It's very isolated in here. There is not a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin, even at higher speeds I've experienced. So definitely very nice when it comes to cabin noise. Steering feel is just right to be quite honest. It's definitely not too heavy. It's definitely not too loose. So it is perfect for the CRV. I will say that as well. That tells you go visibility. And I can see perfectly fine out the back. You shouldn't have any issues there. And actually, if you were to go with the touring trim level that we do indeed have here today, you're also going to get rain sensing windshield wipers as well. Love that because it is about to start pouring down rain here in Pennsylvania. Essentially what that is, is it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you when it starts to detect that rain or mist or whatever. So it's just one less thing you got to worry about. So that's a big benefit there as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Honda CRV. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Honda CRV finished in modern steel metallic. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name that we have here, but let's go ahead and start up front on the CRV. First thing I want to mention is a feature that I first saw on BMW, and I always love seeing it on Honda, of course, as well. Active grill shutters within the front grill. Essentially, what that does is they will open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time, which of course greatly helps out with cooling of the engine, which is a very good thing. To the sides, multi-reflector halogen headlights coming with the LX, EX, and EX. XL trims. Of course, they come with the automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. LED headlights coming with the touring trim level. Of course, that is what you guys are looking at right now. You actually get LED fog lights down below, as you can see, with the EX trim level and up. So that is how you're going to go ahead and get them. But overall, you guys have seen this design on the front end before. Very good looking design. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the CRV. So, but now since we are around to the side, roof rails coming with the touring trim level only. That is how you're going to go ahead and get that. Rear privacy glass coming with the EX trim level and up, meaning the LX does not get rear privacy glass. Wouldn't have mentioned that. Chrome window surrounds coming standard on this one. Chrome molding on the lower portion of the side skirts there. You guys can see that. That is going to be on the touring trim level only. Otherwise, it's just gonna be strictly that matte black look behind it essentially. But body color door handles coming with the EX trim level and up. Black door handles for the LX, that's why I specify that. Power adjustable black side mirrors for the LX to match the door handles, of course. And body colored heated side mirrors for the EX trim level and up. And those side mirrors do come with integrated turn signals then as you can see as well which is always a very good thing taking a look down at the wheel setup they will differ substantially of course dependent upon the trim level 17 inch alloys for the lx 18 inch alloys for the ex and exl and lastly 19 inch double five spoke machine finish alloys for our touring trim level that we currently have right now very good looking wheel design but Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the CRV. And so, but now since we are around back of this one, body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top there, just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, just below that rear window wiper, LED tail lights coming standard across the board. And this is one of those things, whenever I am sitting behind a CRV at a stoplight or a red light, I love this tail light design. I always say that in my head to myself. It is a very good looking tail light design. I'll definitely give Honda that, but just below it all, one of the best parts, a lot of manufacturers right now are leaving the exhaust outlets kind of hidden and tucked away and there's no real attention or detail placed to them. But I do love how Honda has enclosed them with dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So big fan of that. And as always, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so now since we are around back of the CRV, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, there is a button on the key fob itself. That is one way. You simply hold that down. There's also, of course, a button on the lift gate itself, and there is a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. And 
One further than that, if you go with the touring trim level that we have today, that touring trim level actually also gives you a hands-free power lift gate, which is super convenient as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 39.2 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 75.8 cubic feet. And by the way, it was super easy folding those rear seats down. There are two levers found in the cargo area. Simply just pull those and the rear seats do fold down automatically for you there so that is definitely pretty nice wanted to mention to you guys though the rav4 comes in at 69.8 cubic feet if you were comparing this and the hyundai santa fe comes in at 72.1 so the honda crv definitely has the most cargo space when you are comparing all three of those in case you guys were but also in that cargo area there are cargo tie down acres that do come standard in this one cargo lighting as well there will be a cargo cover coming with the ex trim level and up and that is what you guys are looking at right now back there one of the coolest things in the cargo area of the honda crv though is the adjustable cargo floor you can actually make it lower or higher and that's one thing you don't usually see in other manufacturers so i don't know how much you would really be adjusting it but i do love that the availability is there to adjust it i will say that and there is a spare tire underneath of that cargo floor as well in case anybody anybody was curious did not find any grocery bag hooks though so that was kind of interesting but nonetheless let's go ahead and make our way to the rear legroom which comes in at 40.4 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had if you were comparing this again to the toyota rav4 comes in at 37.8 inches so definitely more space yet again in the honda crv definitely very good when it comes to space in this thing which i definitely love rear ventilation comes standard on all trim levels there is also a rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard across the board as well and if you were to go with the ex trim level and up you will find dual usb charging ports which is super important for the kids in the back seat as well so definitely a huge fan of that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats on the crv and so manually adjustable cloth seating is going to come with the lx trim level the ex then is going to add a 12-way power driver seat with four-way power lumbar and heated front seats then as well exl l meaning leather is going to add leather seating of course and a four-way power adjustable passenger seat as well and overall when it comes to the seat comfort i actually said that in my mind second i got in this one i can tell you these seats are plenty comfortable so absolutely no issues with taking the crv on a long road trip to ocean city maryland or something like that i don't know why i always reference ocean city i just really want to go back but the seats are definitely comfortable i will say that but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for the exl and touring trim levels and it will actually be heated then as well for the touring trim that we have today that button's located on the right side of the steering wheel so that is super nice for super cold days in pennsylvania quite unlike today which is kind of nice in pa here but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key you do have your honda logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and this circular button is going to be your remote start which i love that comes standard with the ex trim level and up but push button start also coming standard with the ex trim level and up so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is located just to the left of the infotainment screen which we'll get to in a second here but first let's check out the gauges here the majority of those gauges of course being completely digital you do have your engine temp all the way to your left fuel information to your right and of course the digital display which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel giving you things like when you need your next oil change tire pressure information radio settings and of course a large digital speedometer trip a trip a outside temperature your basic stuff essentially so pretty much everything you could possibly want up there very cool looking display a very cool looking gauges in my personal opinion so i'm definitely digging it but now let's make our way to overall interior quality a power moonroof coming with the ex trim level and up overhead sunglass holder for every single trim level of the crv and Honda actually does this one one better because you actually when you press that overhead sunglass holder get a rear conversation mirror or as I like to refer to it as the school bus mirror so you can spy on the rear passengers and then yell at them when they are not listening to you so I don't know I always find that pretty cool and that's a Honda thing I don't know if any other manufacturers are doing that still right now but I like it but home link controls coming with the EXL trim level and up that's going to be found just behind that rear conversation mirror there automatic climate control coming with the LX meaning you can set your own temperature and it'll get there for you 
dual zone climate control coming with the EX trim level and up, auto dimming rear view mirror for the EXL trim level and up, ambient lighting for the touring trim level only, wireless phone charger for the touring trim level only as well. That's found just below the shifter here. And by the way, shifter is actually kind of located not so much in the area between the driver and passenger seat, but directly located just underneath the infotainment screen. And the CRV has kind of done that for a while. And I know the Honda Civic Si actually did that with their manual transmission back in the day as well. It was so weird driving that manual. Let me tell you guys. But anyways, this isn't a review of that car. So that's where the shifter is located. Overall interior quality is great, actually. I'm absolutely loving it. You got wood trim everywhere, just above the passenger side glove box on the doors, right around the wireless phone charger as well. So I'm a big fan of that. It's also stitched leather above the passenger side glove box. There's some gloss black accents along with that as well. My only constructive criticism really is there is some matte black plastic just behind the wireless phone charger and right around the shifter. But other than that, interior quality is wonderful in the CRV. And we do have the top trim level, so that might contribute to that a little bit as well. But I'm really digging it. Once again, well done Honda there. But let's now go ahead and take a look at the tech display. Five inch LCD screen coming with the LX. Nobody wants that. But if you were to go with the EX trim level and up, you will get a seven inch color touchscreen display. That is currently what you guys are looking at right now. That gives you Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You're only going to get that on the seven inch color touchscreen display, meaning free navigation, as long as you have a smartphone displayed up on that screen. So that's definitely a big selling point there. Factory navigation system coming with the touring trim level only, although you don't really need it these days, as long as you have a smartphone, like I was saying. Radio information, you can also check out up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems of the CRV, four speakers and 160 watts for the LX, six speakers and 180 watts for the EX, and eight speakers and 180 watts for the EXL, and lastly, nine speakers and 330 watts then for the touring that we have today. So literally, a different number of speakers for every single trim level of the CRV. That's kind of interesting, but nonetheless, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. It's not bad. Definitely a good amount of bass. You can tell there's a subwoofer with that nine speaker sound system. 330 watts is plenty fine as well, but having said that, there are better sound systems out there, of course, but that is definitely a very nice sound system for the CRV. I will say that. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the CRV in reverse, you will find a multi angle rear view camera. Multi angle meaning there are three little buttons at the bottom portion of that screen you can press for the multi angles. And that, of course, is going to let you know who or what is behind you. That comes standard on every trim level, by the way. And that is going to lead us into safety. And so, IIHS top safety pick for the touring trim level only that we have today and the reason behind that is because it's the only trim level of course that comes with led headlights and the other headlights aren't that bright comparatively speaking to leds and hids for that matter as well but nonetheless front side side carry airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also all trim levels will also get honda sensing and that is the big one that gives you all the fun advanced safety including forward collision warning adaptive cruise control lane departure warning automatic high beams collision mitigation braking system road departure mitigation system and lane keep assist then as well and then in addition to that if you were to go with the ex trim level and up you will also get an acoustic vehicle alerting system and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert then as well and so when it comes to my final thoughts here of the honda crv the acceleration pretty darn good i will say that comparatively speaking to the other vehicles in its segment fuel economy once again very darn good cargo space really is where this one pulls ahead of the pack when you're comparing it to the competitors because 75 plus cubic feet of cargo space is definitely a good bit and borderline almost jumping up to the next segment as well so that is definitely a good bit of cargo space in this one reliability is great you guys could check out consumer reports for that honda crv has kind of been known for that for quite a while now tech is kind of falling behind that's what i would say on constructive criticism would have liked to have seen a different 
fully digital gauge cluster, including that engine temp as well as the fuel information on the left and the right there as well. Also, a five inch infotainment screen should not even be in existence anymore in 2021. I will say that the seven inch color touchscreen that we have today, it's good, but most other vehicles right now are at minimum eight inches, if not like 12.3 inches. And that's for vehicles like Hyundai and Kia even. So that is one thing that's slightly falling behind. Multicolor ambient lighting would be pretty cool in my personal opinion as well. But the only other thing I can think of, and I don't think Honda's gonna change it, is the CVT is somewhat emotionless. I'm sure they got a lot invested in that at this point, but it would be nice to see maybe an eight speed automatic or 10 speed automatic or something like that. So that way you can stick with the fuel efficiency that is currently getting, but you can add a little more motion to the driving then as well as opposed to this boring CVT that we have. But nonetheless, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to put in the comments what you think of the new CRV. I always like to read your comments. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.